Hello, 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 my dear learners. So this week we will start a new chapter, which is forces, masses, and acceleration. The objectives of this lesson is to analyze data to support the claim that Newton's second law of motion describes the mathematical relationship among the net force on a microscopic object, its mass and its acceleration. Use Newton's second law to predict changes in the motion of object. Now we will talk about changing motion. What are Newton's laws of motion? Newton has three laws of motion. First object is called the law of inertia. Objects remain at rest or continue with uniform motion in a straight line unless some action causes a change in motion. As I told you, it's called the law of inertia. <clears throat> it's the object resistance to change in motion. You will define mass and force. What causes acceleration also force causes an acceleration what is meant by net force what is meant by newton's second law of motion which is a continuum for the first law of motion the definition of momentum so first we defined inertia and now we are defining momentum always we like to refer back to what motion graphs. So here P is for momentum and it's versus T. Greater force, lesser force. I push you and you push back. This is Newton's third law of motion. We call it action, reaction, force. For every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. And then we will talk about representing forces. How do I represent force? We have something called free body diagram. We will discuss it in details. Statistic is the study of balance force on objects or system that are at rest. And dynamics is for objects that are moving the act. <clears throat> the, uh, the equations that we will be using. This, the first one is for the law of inertia. The second one is the law of momentum. And that's it. I hope you will understand everything uh, thoroughly and clearly. And always, as I always say, don't hesitate to get back to me in any point that you don't understand. 